Hi guys, it's Lara. Thanks for watching and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will show you how I made my new bikinis. I made two pairs. I used the same pattern for both of them but there were a few differences because the fabrics that I used were a little bit different. So first I made a checked one and this fabric was actually not sold specifically as bikini fabric. I used this fabric for a shirt and skirt. Uh, but the fabric doesn't stretch out when it gets wet. It's not a see-through when it gets wet and it dries extremely fast. So it was perfect uh, to use for a bikini. And the second bikini I made, I made of a fabric that is being sold specifically as bikini fabric. It is super soft and super stretchy. The only disadvantage is that it's quite thin. So you have to use two layers. And these were also scraps of fabrics that I had at home. So I made it of uh, the red fabric and for the lining I had to use something else because I didn't have enough of the red fabric so I used the pink color but it doesn't matter because when this gets wet it just looks red and you would never tell that there is a different color on the inside and since there were a few differences in making of these bikinis even though I used the same pattern because of one layer versus two layers I will also go over these steps and if you want to know how I made my bikinis then please keep watching for the panties, I copied one of my old underpants I like wearing. Here we have the pattern. When I copied the panties, I laid them out as flat as possible and then I basically copied the outlines of each part as they were. And once I had the copy of the parts, I added seam allowance everywhere and then I had my pattern. I made a pattern for the waistband that would fold where I would place the elastic inside of it, which you will see when I'll make my second bikini. For the first bikini, I will use this elastic band with the shiny dots on it. Here we have the back part for my first bikini pant. The front part. And here is the lining for the crotch. First I put the back part on the front part, right side to right side, and then I added the lining right side to the back part and I pinned all together. Here is what it looked like when it was pinned in place. I have sewn the parts together with stretchy overlock stitch and then I cut back the excess fabric. I folded the lining so that the right side would be up and I pinned it to the front part. Once it was pinned in place I again cut back the excess fabric. Then I took an elastic and I started pinning it to the sides of the panties. I simply folded the edge over and pinned it in place. On some fabrics you will have to pull on the elastic band a little bit so that it would kind of ruffle the edges because when it gets wet it would kind of stand away. But this fabric is pretty stable so I made it pretty flat. Here is what it looked like when the elastic was pinned to both sides. I have sewn through the edge with stretchy zigzag. Next I turned the panties to the wrong side and I pinned the sides together. And then it looked like this. I have sewn through with straight stitch and then I folded the seam to one side and I have sewn through again with a straight stitch. As a next step I pinned the ends of the elastic band together and I have sewn them together with straight stitch. 
I folded the seams to both sides and I have sewn them through with straight stitch. I mark the middles on the front and the back part of the panties, which is something that always helps me to align the waistband better. And then I pinned the waistband to the panties, right side to right side. Here is what it looked like. I have sewn the waistband on with stretchy overlock stitch. And then I folded the seam downwards and I pinned it in place. And this is what it looked like. And then I have sewn through with stretchy zigzag and my panties were finished. For the bralette I have here these two triangles. I measured my boobs for that so that I knew how high and how wide they were supposed to be and I made the edges a little bit rounder. Then I have here an elastic band for the base. It's the same band that I used for the panties and elastics for the sides. For the strap I will use this bias tape that I made myself. I used a bias tape form and some scraps of black bikini fabric. If you want me to film a tutorial how to make your own bias tape with the help of bias tape forms and without, let me know in the comments. Now, first I pinned the ends of the elastic band together. I have sewn them together with straight stitch and this time I folded the seam to one side and I have sewn it through with straight stitch. In this case it's better than folding the seam to both sides because when it's gonna stretch out it would put a little bit too much stress on the stitches in this case. Then I pinned the elastics to the sides of the triangles. Here I always pulled a little bit on the elastic so that it would ruffle the edges a little bit. I have sewn the elastic band in with stretchy zigzag and then I started pinning the triangles to the base. I pinned them a little bit differently to the elastic band than what I have done with the panties. I pinned them from the inside, which means the right side of the triangles faced the wrong side of the elastic band. I have sewn the triangles on with stretchy zigzag. Next, I have sewn through the edge of the bias tape with stretchy zigzag. First, I pinned only one end of the strap to one of the triangles. I have sewn it on with overlock stitch, then I folded the seam downwards and I have sewn through with a straight stitch. I put the bralette on to find out how long the strap was supposed to be. I cut back the fabric a little bit and then I was able to pin the other end of the strap to the second triangle and I have sewn it on just like the other side. And here we have the finished bralette. Well, and here is the whole bikini. Let's have a look at the second bikini. So for the panties I have here two layers of fabric because this fabric is thinner and it would be a see-through when it gets wet. For the waistband on this bikini pants I have here the red bikini fabric and an elastic band which will be inside of the red fabric. 
and the panties will also have a belt on it that comes from this old uh, striped bikini pants and for that I will also need loops for the loops I made a bias tape from the red bikini fabric and I have sewn through it stretchy zigzag and I will use that I folded the strip of fabric from my waistband and I measured how long the bias tape will have to be for the loops and I cut one piece off and then I used it as a template for four more loops I left out the lining for the crotch since there were already two layers of the fabric. So first I pinned the back parts and the front parts of each layer together and I have sewn them together with stretchy overlock stitch. Then I assembled both layers, wrong side to wrong side, right sides up and I pinned them together where the seam was and then I pinned the elastic band in place just like I did for the checked bikini and this time I pulled a little bit the elastic band out uh, while doing that because this fabric was very soft and it needs a little bit more hold around the edges here is what it looked like when the elastic was pinned in place I have sewn around the edge with stretches zigzag and then I have sewn together the sides of the panties the same way I did with the checked bikini. So I pinned the sides together, then I have sewn them through with a straight stitch, I folded the seam to one side and I have sewn through again with straight stitch. When I was done, this is what the panties looked like. For the waistband, first I pinned the sides of the red fabric together and I have sewn them together with stretchy overlock stitch. And then I have sewn the ends of the elastic band together. Next I used the old bikini pants in order to find out places for the loops. I pinned the loops to the upper edge of the bikini panties to the right side. I pinned them so that they were facing down and I also pinned them in place um, so that they wouldn't get in my way when I was pinning the waistband to the panties. As a next step, I pinned the edge of the waistband to the upper edge of the panties, right side to right side. Here is what it looked like once it was pinned in place. I have sewn the waistband on with stretchy overlock stitch. And then it looked like this. I folded the seam up and I placed the elastic band underneath the seam and I folded the waistband over the elastic, I folded the other edge inwards and I have pinned it in place. I have sewn through with stretchy zigzag and then I took the loops, folded them up, I folded the end in and I have sewn them in place with straight stitch. I've also sewn through their bottom edge so that the belt would fit exactly in. As a next step I pulled the belt through. Mm -hmm. 
I pinned it to the panties on several places, so once underneath the center loop in the back, once beneath the buckle, and then I also pinned in place the end of the belt. I stitched the belt on these places in place. And then my second bikini panties were finished and here's what they looked like. Here we have the bralette parts, so I have here two layers for the triangles, again the fabric is a little bit too thin, it definitely needs two layers. And then I have here the strip of red fabric for the base with a white elastic band, it's basically the same principle like I did uh, on the panties. Here we have elastics for the sides and more of the elastic tape which I will use for the straps. Unfortunately I didn't have enough fabric in order to make the strap wider but it will be okay. I went through the same steps uh, like with the first bralette so I didn't cover that here and I made the base just like the waistband on the panties for this bikini so I will not go over it either. I have sewn on the top of the triangles two big white buttons to cover the transition between the end of the triangles and the straps, since the straps were narrower than the straps on the first bralette. Once I was done with that, my bralette was finished. And here we have the finished bikini. There is one thing I would like to point out because I find it very important. When you use a fabric that's quite soft like this one, you definitely have to stretch out the elastic band a little bit when you will be sewing it around the edge of the panties, uh, because otherwise when they get wet they could stand away a little bit from your body, it just would not look that great. And this stretches out nicely when you put it on, the elastic is soft enough so that it wouldn't cut somehow significantly into your skin and it's just so much more comfortable and when this gets wet everything stays in place and they will keep a nice shape. And also I designed this bralette for my super tiny boobs but this would work also for bigger boobs because the fabric stretches out nicely. You would just have to adjust the size of the triangle according to the size of your breasts. Uh, but as long as you stretch out the elastic band when you are sewing it around the edges, it will keep a nice shape and since it's super stretchy and since it will adjust to the size of your boobs, it will actually give you also quite a lot of support. So that is it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to write them down below in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'm looking forward to seeing you with my next project. Bye.